Things must be bad if you flow from Alicante for this. With Peter's statement alone, they've probably got enough to charge you. So, for the time being, you're going to do a no-comment interview. Understood? I just want you to think about what you've done. You know, giving this statement, how serious it all is. I knew how serious it all was when I couldn't leave the house for weeks after being attacked. Look, I know what Ben did was wrong, completely, and he knows that too. It, but he could end up inside for this. Yeah. It's called facing your consequences. Ben wouldn't cope in prison right now. Oh, he managed before, didn't he? Yeah, but he's in a bad place. Grant, that's completely self-inflicted. No. No, it's more than that. Why are you trying to excuse what he done to me? He could have ruined my life. Look, before you knew it was Ben, you wanted me to go to the police. If it was anyone else who'd be backing me, no questions asked. Yeah, I know. Has he got something over you? Is that it? Is that why you're choosing to protect him over me? Or has he just made you feel sorry for him cheating on his husband? Oh, Peter, if you only knew... Knew what? Just... Just don't do this, Peter. Please. I'm not going to change my statement. And there's nothing you can say that can make me change my mind. I nearly told him. Well, it's a good job you didn't. Yeah, but if he knew... I don't think nothing would change, except he wouldn't talk to you again. I really think they're going to charge him, you know. I mean, I, I don't know what I'd do if they... I've already missed out on so much of his life, Jane. I know you have. It don't matter how old he gets. He's still my little boy. I just want to take all that, this pain away. I'll do anything I can to help him, anything. I think you've just got to wait. So, uh, Peter must have been mistaken when he said it was Ben who attacked him, because I was with Ben when he found him. Right, can you talk us through how it happened? Uh, we was at the bar at the Prince Albert, and we were on our way home when we saw Peter. He was collapsed. Uh, I didn't realise it was him at first, not until I got closer. And then what happened? Then I ran straight off to get his brother, Bobby. That must have been when Ben called the ambulance. Mrs Beale, you must realise how suspicious this all looks. You suddenly coming forward with an alibi for your son. Yeah, yeah, of course I do. But it was my grandson who was attacked, you know. Nobody wants this sorted more than I do. But it wasn't Ben. Why didn't you mention this at the time? I don't know. Um, well, a shock, I suppose. It didn't seem that important, so why would I? Why do you think Peter would identify Ben as the attacker if it wasn't true? Well, I think someone lied to Peter about Ben being the attacker. Lewis, he used to work for me. We can speak to Lewis. Yeah, well, he was very bitter when I let him go. He'd do anything to get back at us. 